Uh, one, one way I've done it in the past, and I, I quite like the bootstrap way better that, that Dr. Robin described, is that the way I've done it in the past is on the front we have a button, just like uh, Dr. Robin suggested, but on the back I made like a almost like a L or a T shape inside where your uh, elastic can slot into. But the bootstrap, i.e., it actually looks like a bootstrap, so you make a little cut like this and like this, like a triangular, uh, and then you allow the elastic to, to grip onto it. Tell me if I've perversed it in any way, uh, Robin. Uh, Perfect. But, uh, that, that makes like an e it's like easier cut to do, it makes a lot of sense. Um, so, which elastic are you using i think you mentioned before or you haven't just just tell us which is the elastic we need to buy because and it's funny with elastics they're, they're named after countries they're named after animals uh, so we get really confused uh, with the different brands you see that's right yeah orm code as the animals uh you can get them on flax smackers with different types of animals um really what you want to look at for a bootstrap you want a small elastic now the smallest that you could find is one eighth inch they're hard to find the more common small size you can get is three eighths inch and um you know, you can get up to quarter inches and things like that for cross arch, but you never want to use a really big one on a bootstrap. So you want to use a small one so you can stretch it out. Um, you could find a one eighth inch or um, they probably do metrics too in other areas, but we use the inches in, in the United States. But you can use a, a one eighth and a like a 3.5 or a 4.5 ounce. The bootstrap, you also want a small elastic you, because you're trying to loop it around to the lingual. You don't want to have rubber band between the plastic and the tooth creating friction, you want it to be as small as possible. So a light elastic, small light elastic is the best way to go. That's really good. I, didn't, I never really considered that. So that, that's a good little pearl there. Hey, if you enjoyed this snippet from the Protrusive Dental Podcast, be sure to check out the full episode on www.protrusive.co.uk. It's also available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, you name it. It's everywhere. Also on YouTube. So check out the content. If you like it, please share it with a friend. Thank you.